Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the ice maker fill tube heater in your refrigerator, be sure to unplug the power cord. Depress the water filter cover to release it, then rotate the filter counterclockwise to remove. Using a quarter-inch socket or nut driver, unthread the two screws securing the water reservoir access panel. Pull the panel down, using a flathead screwdriver to help detach the mounting posts. Disconnect the LED light wire connector and set the panel aside. You can use a small flathead screwdriver to pry off the water line retainer. Use a half inch wrench to depress the retaining ring to release the ice maker fill tube from the valve port. Disconnect all of the ice box wire connectors. For easier access to uninstall the ice box, remove the upper left shelf. Use a putty knife or a flathead screwdriver to depress the tabs to release the ice box's front cover. Then disconnect the wire connector. Now unthread the two mounting screws securing the ice box. Pull the ice box forward and down to fully release. Release the ice maker fill tube heater wire harness from the channel and unwrap the old heater from the fill tube to fully remove. Install the new fill tube heater by peeling off the backing to expose the adhesive, then wrap the heater around the fill tube. Align the wire harness in the channel. Reinstall the ice box by aligning the hooks on the top with the notches in the liner, then push the ice box back. Replace the screws. Reinstall the front cover by first connecting the wire connector, then align the top edge and snap the cover into place. Replace the upper shelf if required. Reconnect all of the icebox wire connectors. Reinsert the fill tube into the valve port until fully seated. Snap the water line retainer into place. Reinstall the water reservoir access panel by first connecting the LED light wire connector. Insert the three tabs at the back into the slots, then snap the mounting posts into place. Rethread the screws. Reinstall the water filter and close the cover. Plug the power cord back in and your refrigerator should be ready for use.